In your discovery, uh, we're after one main thing in the discovery. Who knows what that is? Why do we do the discovery? Why do we spend so much time asking questions, getting information? What is the thing we're looking for? That's right, we're after the dominant buying motive. Now there's two or three other things which we're looking for as well, but the dominant buying motive or the DBM is the most critical thing that we're looking for in the discovery section of our presentation. So the discovery is just the next step of the sales process and we're looking for the DBM. So how do you get the DBM? What is it that, you know, how does that come about? You know, you get the DBM in a few different ways. You know, you need to do that in different uh, levels of questions. So your first, second, third level questioning, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, you can also get it with some of the different questions that you ask through your, uh, through your survey, for example, which we'll discuss that also a little bit further. But what we need to know, we need to understand what the DBM is, it's the most important thing to your person. The main reason why your clients are gonna purchase your product. But it does, also doesn't, doesn't stop there. If you're an OPC, what's the main reason why people wanna go and see the presentation? Is it the gift? What is it in the gift which is the most important thing? You know, is it their family? You know, is it their health? You know, what is it that's gonna make your client go to a presentation. And just as important when you've got customer service agents or you've got reservations, for example, what is their dominant buying motive? You know, if you've got an angry client or you've got a happy client, it doesn't matter. We need to find the dominant buying motive in every single selling situation. If we don't get the dominant buying motive, we can't get a sale. If we get the dominant buying motive, then it, we increase our sales stats, we increase obviously then our BPG, our cancellations reduce, our average sale increases, it just all starts to happen. So therefore, as we go through the discovery phase, a lot of it is talking about the dominant buying motive and how we get to that. But we, I wanted to bring in this notion first about the dominant buying motive. Understand, you're gonna hear this terminology a lot, and if you've been in this industry for a long time, you're gonna continue hearing this for a long time. So understand it, get to know it, learn it, understand how you get that, but also when we go through discovery, this is what we always have in the back of mind. Have I discovered my client's dominant buying motive and am I able to move on to the next step of the presentation?